Hey guys, what's up? And thanks so much for checking out my in-depth look at the Remix OS. Remix is a custom Android operating system created by three ex-Googlers, which attempts to create a more productive and multitasking friendly approach to Android. Have they succeeded? Well, let's find out. Remix OS is almost unrecognizable as an Android OS the moment you open it up. There is virtually no trace of Android left here, and bears more than a passing resemblance to Windows. There are no widgets or an app drawer, just an iOS style app home screen with icons. Long press the background to choose your wallpaper. While this might be a substantial change from stock Android, this definitely isn't the biggest change in Remix OS. The Android navigation bar has been greatly enhanced and resembles Windows taskbar. When you open an app, it stays in the bottom bar and you can tap on the open apps icon to toggle between minimizing and maximizing, a la Windows style. You can also drag an app from the desktop to the taskbar to pin it there, and dragging it back gets rid of the pin. At the bottom right of the screen is a multifunction button. With all apps minimized, pressing the button pulls up a task killer that frees up your RAM. When an app is in focus, the button allows you to switch between phone mode, tablet mode, and closing the app. Arguably the killer feature of Remix OS is the ability to multitask. You can run multiple apps in the foreground, allowing you to do many things at once. An app in tablet mode takes up the entire screen, while an app in phone mode takes up about a quarter of the screen. Apps in phone mode have a Windows-esque UI bar above it that you can tap and drag to move around the screen. The phone app will snap to various elements when moving them around. Tapping on the back button acts as a normal Android capacitive button going back. The minus sign minimizes the windows while the X closes the app. Things don't really slow down when running multiple apps unless you have 8 or more apps open. Again, depending on how resource intensive they are. Dragging down from the top of the screen brings up the notification screen, and swiping left and right switches between notifications and the app's quick toggles. Notifications are quite interactive and allow you to dismiss and open up notifications in the app. Remix OS supports shortcuts and gestures from the keyboard, touchpad, as well as the screen. The most useful and prominent touchpad gesture being two-finger scroll, which works quite well. There isn't any lag when scrolling through any app at all, which is quite impressive. On-screen gestures also work as well, a five-finger claw minimizing all apps and bringing you back to the desktop. The Remix also supports keyboard shortcuts such as Alt-Tab to switch between apps. There are also the standard Windows keyboard shortcuts such as Copy, Paste, Select All, etc. Double tapping the control button brings up App Search, which turns out to be quite useful as well. The keyboard also supports a Mac style function keys that directly control sound, brightness, playback, screenshots, making the function keys quite useful. The Remix email app is very well produced. The format of the email app is almost identical to Microsoft's new Outlook format, with folders on the left, email previews in the middle, and the email message on the right. When you compose an email, you can also drag the window to different parts of the screen and even compose two tabbed messages at once. You can also maximize the compose window for a better writing experience. In addition, you can tap on any email link in any browser and it will bring up a cool little compose window for you to shoot a quick email, which is also an extremely handy tool. The Remix file manager is also very nice. It follows the Windows Metro style file manager, with frequently used folders on the left and the open folder on the right. In addition, cloud storage such as Google Drive and OneDrive is automatically shown on the left once you sign in. Long pressing on a file brings up the menu options, making the file managing experience very close to Windows. The power manager is where you find all things battery related. It tells you how long the tablet has been on and the estimated amount of time left which generally is quite accurate as long as you don't game. You can also allow certain apps to run in the background, which I highly recommend for any apps that you want to get push notifications from, like Facebook Messenger or Google Hangouts. The Settings app is also very clearly inspired by Microsoft Settings app, as it looks quite similar, with settings on the left and the expanded settings on the right. The Calendar app, however, isn't quite as good. It does make quite good use of its space, but I really dislike the month view, where they don't show the text of each appointment in the box, but just a little dot, so you can't really preview what you have to do. The final Remix app is the Notes app. While it's quite well designed with the ability to add alarms, checklists, and attach files, 
there really is no reason to use this one over Google Keep, which provides all the same functionalities with the added benefit of syncing with all your devices. It is quite clear that great thought has been put into the software here, and for the most part, I'm very satisfied with the apps that Remix has designed. The Remix OS isn't all fun and games though. There are some bugs with the OS. The biggest problem I have with it is that push notifications don't work very well, since apps are designed to run in the foreground, not the background. For every app you want notifications for, you have to add an exception to it to let it get notifications, and even then, it doesn't work all the time. One more thing is that almost all websites open the mobile version and not the desktop version. There is a workaround for that, I posted the link below. And finally, there are some general incompatibilities with certain apps. I did have some trouble with YouTube not working properly as well. The last thing was that I also hoped to be able to resize phone apps like Windows 8.1 does, but phone apps are not resizable. However, I really have to hand it to the Remix team. They have taken Android and created an extremely well-implemented multitasking system. This operating system is really the best of Android with many great elements from Windows. However, the software isn't perfect, as this is Remix's first iteration of the software. There is also a lot less freedom on this OS than Windows, but it isn't so limiting to foster a bad experience. Overall, I highly recommend this OS over Android in general, and this can give Windows a serious run for their money. In addition, the Remix OS should be the death knell for Chrome OS, which is so much worse than Remix in so many ways. And big name manufacturers should seriously consider Remix OS on any future Chromebooks. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. If you want to check out my other videos as well as the Cube i7 Remix review, click on any of the links that should be popping about right about now.